Capricorn was good. Welcome to my channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself. And I do have an Instagram if you'd like to check it out. If not, that's cool, Cap, because that's not the reason that we're here today. We're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, see what you got coming in for you in the near future. Please don't take everything you hear to heart. Some of it's not going to fit. Some of it's not going to be your story. Some of the story is going to belong to someone else. So only take what sounds like it belongs to you and leave the rest behind. Don't worry about that part. Uh, cross watchers, this is a Capricorn reading, so you're more than welcome. Especially if you have a uh, cap in your chart or if you're dealing with the Capricorn, this reading would be for you too. But keep in mind that I'm focused specifically on uh, Capricorns. Uh, at the end of the reading, we're going to go down all 12 signs of the zodiac, see who you're dealing with, specifically by uh, sign. And then I'm going to be pulling from the Unsent Messages Oracle deck. And these are all the messages in between separated lovers that never got sent. These are the thoughts, these are the feelings, the uh, expressions that never got expressed, the emotions that all got typed up and just kind of left in a draft. So we're going to be relaying these messages that never got sent. This is an original creation of mine, which can be found at onwarstarot.com. Also, if you're feeling stuck on somebody, please don't be stuck. If you're binging on tarot, as much as I love the views, I would much rather you get unstuck. Um, you can come back when you need, but um, if you're feeling stuck on somebody, please, uh, if your free will leads you to do so, check out my magic shop at onwarstarot.com. I have something for you that can um, help you release your person very, fairly fast. So. It helped me uh, actually overnight. So if you're interested, it's there for you. If your free will leads you to do so. All right, let's jump into your reading. Please show me what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising in Love. What's going on with Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Please show me the, the energy surrounding Capricorn in love with intentions of bringing clarity, peace, understanding, closure for those who need it. Peace of mind and hope. What's going on with Capricorn in love? Please bring me clear and accurate messages. Capricorn, how you doing? You look good. All right. Please bring me clear and accurate messages for Capricorn. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising in love. What's going on with Capricorn? All right. We got jumpers. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody's holding on to a burden. Situation is uh, Nine of Wands. Your guard is up. Possibly because you've already been through this before. You already know the. Uh, you already know how it goes. You already know the outcome. Now I don't mean the outcome to this reading, but you already know how this. Whatever the situation that you're dealing with, you've already been through it. You already get it. Your guard is up. You could be starting something new, and walking into it just a little bit like uh, a little bit guarded because you've already been through it. Crossing that, we have the Ace of Swords. This is clarity. The challenge is getting clarity. The challenge is possibly you could be not being able to uh, get the truth out of somebody, not be able to get answers out of somebody. Also, possibly while you're watching this reading. It's causing you to have your guard up. You feel like somebody is not telling you everything. I feel like you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or Libra. It doesn't have to be any of them, though. The reason this all happened is Queen of Swords. You could have had some direct uh, conversation with somebody. The Queen usually shows up. Now, you could be dealing with a, uh, a very quiet mother figure, somebody who really doesn't say any much, but you know that they don't take any crap either. And the Queen usually shows up after something has gone down. After this, the Queen shows up. And she's not taking no crap. I feel like this could be you, Capricorn. In the recent past... Things weren't moving forward. You could have been dealing with the cancer sign that things came to a stop with, or things just never went uh, forward. You possibly were dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be, but cancer energy. You could have been dealing with a situation to where uh, there was just no motion. There was no forward motion, and finally it just came to a stop. You could have had a, uh, a, a geographic barrier between you guys, a distance barrier between you guys. In your conscious goal, Capricorn... You have the Nine of Cups in reverse. That's a wish not coming true. You could be trying to uh, uh, revamp your wish or trying to come up with a new wish. Possibly wish for something that you didn't really want to wish for. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? Possibly the person that you let go of. We have 
two counterparts right here, but they are not on the same page. They are not on the same vibration, the same frequency. One's ready, one's not. One wants it, one doesn't. One is present, one is not, uh, the other is not. What's coming in for you, you could have a father figure coming in. Possibly the father figure that you cut off or let go of. He possibly could be coming in with some uh, sharp words for you. Now, when I say he or she, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, gender-wise. You know, there's no gender in tarot. So, uh, take it as it applies. This means the masculine versus the feminine. Who's the masculine versus the feminine? The feminine cares. The masculine, they just don't really give that much of a fuck, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, the way you see yourself right now. You don't want to control this situation anymore. You don't want to be manipulative. You don't want to have to. You don't feel like you have to win uh, anything. You feel like you have nothing to prove. You just want everything on the up and up. External to you, the person that you're dealing with, they are tired of waiting. They could have given up, no longer waiting. It could be this uh, father figure coming in to tell you that they're not going to be waiting anymore. And they possibly could be cutting you off, Capricorn. In your hopes and fears, you're fearing that this person is going to cut you off. You're fearing that a, a connection possibly with a Taurus, or this could be, um, yeah, possibly with a Taurus, could be coming to an end. Could be fearing that someone is going to back out of, someone's going to back out of this. A commitment or some type of agreement. You're, you're fearing that someone's going to back out of it. And in your outcome, looks good. But we're not going to jump the gun. We're going to come back to that. <laughs> Don't get no ideas. All right. Tell me about the chariot for the recent past for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And love. What happened with the chariot? Why is the chariot here? Please bring me clear and accurate messages. What is the chariot? Let's clarify. What is the chariot? So things were out of balance with you and your person from the past. Things weren't moving uh, very fast. I felt like they were moving. They could have been moving at first, and then they just came to a stop. It looks like the reason they came to a stop is because they were dealing with something else. It was just something else, not necessarily another person, but they were dealing with something else, and they couldn't give all their attention, all their time to this connection, so uh, they stopped They stopped pulling toward it. They were unable to balance out whatever they had in this hand, whatever they had in that hand. And no, I don't mean the Two of Pentacles. It's the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So whatever it was that they were trying to balance, they just couldn't really do it, and they had to possibly take it a, a, a step back from both or one. But whatever this is with you, now this also could have been you, Capricorn. But uh, whatever this was, it it, it it stopped moving. It caused you to put your guard up. You're really not sure now. You don't know if you can trust this person. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, please. Oh, I saw that in the camera. So there's that Two of Pentacles that I was just talking about. It jumped out. So the Two of Pentacles, somebody is juggling... This is very clear. Your guard is up. Now, this could be you, Capricorn, or this could be your person. Somebody is indecisive. These two cards that just jumped out are saying the exact same thing. This is options. This is uh, indecisiveness. This is exactly what I was just talking about here. Juggling one hand and the other hand. But in this case, I was talking about with the Six of Pentacles. Now we have all three cards telling us the same exact thing, whether this is you or your person, Capricorn. Somebody has been indecisive. Somebody has been juggling. You could be juggling. This could be you trying to make a decision. What do I choose? Lots of different options. I'm not sure what to do. This is indecisive and confusion. Or indecisiveness and confusion. You're waiting for some truths to come in. You're waiting for some type of breakthrough with the Ace of Swords as the challenge. The reason you can't decide is because you don't have enough information. What is Ace of Swords, please? Please give me clear and accurate messages. What is Ace of Swords? And what jumped out, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So, somebody's possibly not moving, not taking action, Not uh, there's no forward motion. Again, there's no more uh, motion here. Something came to a stop. You guys could be at a stalemate. You move. No, you move. No, you move first. No, you move first. I said it first. I said it too. Two's better than one. It goes nowhere. There's a burden that you're unable to put down. This is a, it's like it, this is a burden to you. The fact that you can't make a decision, possibly because they're not giving you enough information, and it's become burdensome uh, to you. I feel like you want to let go of this burden, but you really can't. 
you could be feeling stuck and trapped in the situation and you're like oh you know just give me some answers so i can make a decision i can't make a decision until you give me the answers that i need i feel like that's the exact reason why you're at watching this uh reading and i don't mean so much as uh, that's why you watch tarot but i mean specifically i feel like you came to this reading looking for this answer to help you make a decision whether you watch uh you know other readers other channels and whatnot which i hope you do there's some really good ones out there um but i feel like you're specifically here hoping to find that one answer tell me about the uh nine of cups in reverse and it jumped out again so okay so this was these two jumped out of my hand, the Hangman in Reverse and the Ace of Cups in Reverse. This is clarifying the Nine of Cups in Reverse. So whatever you wished for, you wish that you didn't wish for it. It's like, can I take this wish back? Now you're trying to decide, okay, am I going to stay here or am I, am I not? This isn't quite what I wish for. I wish for, I wish for this, for a Ten of Cups situation, you got the Nine. There's your wish coming true. Here's that Tenth Cup. This puts you in the connection with the person. So Nine and Ten, that makes... Uh, I'm sorry, 9 and 1 makes 10. That's a 10 of cups. That's a happy end-all, be-all. So I feel like you possibly got that out of this person. But then once you got there, you started to see things from a different perspective. They could have opened up. You could have seen their, uh, started to see their true self. And now you're in the energy of, uh, yeah, not so much. That's not quite what I want. It's not quite what I was hoping. And this is in your um, conscious goal. You could be hoping to let go and back out. Now, there's also with the Hierophant in reverse, uh, what I was talking about earlier, about in your hopes and fears of um, uh, fearing that somebody's going to back out. This could be you hoping to be able to back out of a connection that you put yourself in. A new start. So, yeah. So, I feel like you. Uh, this was... This is you hoping to be able to uh, pull your way out or uh, make an exit, back your way out of a situation that you put yourself in thinking that it was everything that you hoped for. But there's confusion. You were possibly looking at this situation through rose-tinted glasses, not really seeing it for, really, uh, for what it was. I feel like you could have been looking at this cup with the pearls in it and ended up with this cup with a snake in it. And now you're like, you know what? Uh, that's not what I want. I need to get out of this. You're about to cut this person off. That's why this all happened. You could have already cut this person off, and it looks like this person's coming back in. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, you cut this person off because you found out you're dealing with a player. You wish for a player. I feel like when you're manifesting uh, and setting your intentions, you probably left out the part of make this person committal. And you ended up with somebody who's non-committal and possibly a fire sign. Could be a Sag. Could be a uh, Capricorn. Could be a uh, Cancer. Doesn't have to be any of them, though. But I feel like you're ready to cut this person off because you found out that they're non-committal. Um, let's see, where we at? Alright, tell me about the... So, whatever this was, okay, yeah, so you found out this person's non-committal and you want to cut this person out. Um, I feel like with the Six of Swords in reverse being your, uh, the way you see yourself right now, it's like you don't even care no more. It's like you, you don't want to, you don't want to fight, you don't want to manipulate, you don't want to do nothing. It's like, let's just... Let's just not do this. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not gonna try to keep you here. I'm not gonna try to do any of the above Let's just let's just separate Tell me about the six of swords in reverse, please Yep You're out you are out of here. You are walking away from this you are ghosting um, if you're not ghosting you're at least heading straight forward away from this and it doesn't matter if this person tries to follow or not. You're gone. You're not going to try to manipulate this. You're not going to try to control the situation. I feel like you're at the point where you don't care. You don't give a shit what happens. You're out. You're gone. Tell me about the uh, three of wands in reverse. So whoever the, that you're dealing with, they don't want to wait. 
or they feel like whatever it is that they're waiting for isn't coming. They're waiting for something. They feel like they're not getting it. They possibly could be waiting for you to make a decision. They feel like they don't know that your decision is to go ahead and leave. This type, this person is toxic. Whoever this is, you ended up with somebody toxic. Oop. All right, we got a jumper. Okay, you ended up with somebody toxic. Uh, Empress in reverse. This person's stressing. Well, this person is stressed out because you are walking away. I feel like I'm um, talking to a female right now. You walked away. You are no longer the person. You could have literally broke up with them. Also, with the uh, with the Empress in reverse. The Empress. This is all new. This is all fertile. This is something that is growing. Doesn't look like it's growing. It's stressing this person out. It's like, again, there's no there's no movement. There was no movement in this uh, situation. This could have been you given to two different connections in the past, too, because you do have the Two of Pentacles in your energy. Whatever this is, it's stressing this person out. They could be waiting for you to make a decision if you want to be the boot thing or not. And um, it's caused them a lot of stress. They are in their head a lot about this. They could be losing sleep over this. How does uh, How does Capricorn see this person? Capricorn see this person you see this person is very emotional could be dealing with a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio don't have to be this person could be a heavy drinker too this person uh, could be somebody who they drive drunk somebody who drives somebody who's double fisting somebody actually drives while they're drinking um yeah drinks and drives at the same time I literally has an open container in the car but you see this person is toxic. You see this person is just all bad. How do you? Uh, how does uh, Capricorn feel about this person? You got the Wheel of Fortune. So you feel like there's a major turning point that just happened. You feel like something went from this to this, and it just happened fast. It was a major turning point. It's something that you didn't see coming. Something completely changed in this uh, in this dynamic. But I feel like it could have changed in your favor. You could be feeling like, thank God that happened. Thank God this, that I uh, discovered this. Thank God that I, uh, I realized this before it was too late. And this is a major turning point for you as well. How does this person see uh, Capricorn? How does this person see Capricorn? They are staying hopeful. This is the exact same card in the exact same position that came out for the Taurus or Virgo reading. I, I believe it was the Taurus reading. Uh, if you have more Earth in your charts, then possibly watch one of those readings and see if there's some messages there for you. But this person is staying hopeful towards this. Um, towards this, They don't know that you're about to dip out, though, if you haven't already. How does this person feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about They feel like you could be uh, have someone else. They don't feel very confident at all. They don't feel confident. They don't feel attractive. They don't feel like you're attracted to them. They think that you're still at a crossroads. They think that you're undecisive. They they think that you're unable to make a decision or that you're just blocked off and guarded and that you're trying to do this in secret and not get caught. They could be onto you that you're dipping out. Uh, what is a king of swords in reverse for what's coming in for Capricorn? This is somebody coming in to talk, and they're going to come in with a with a heavy voice, a loud voice possibly. They're not happy when they come in, Capricorn. They're not happy when they come in. What is a king of swords? So they're going to come in and um, offer your cup, and you're not going to yeah, you're not going to be interested. You have the four of cups in reverse. Now this this normally tells me that is where you weren't interested in the past, that you were start to show interest. This could be this person finally coming around, finally saying, okay, I'm ready. Or this could be you. But there's going to be some conflict here. There's going to be some sharp communication between you guys. Possibly this could start an argument. They're going to tell you that they're ready for everything that you're ready for. They're going to tell you that, uh, okay, I don't want to be a player anymore. Oh, I'm ready for this, but it's too late. I feel like they weren't interested in doing the right thing in the committal thing here, also with the Knight of Wands in reverse, that you have cut off with the Queen of Swords upright. I feel like they're going to come in on a new energy and be like, okay, I'm ready. And 
Nah, you ain't having it. You are gracefully backing out of this. Um, in your outcome, you have a devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. This is you freeing yourself from this toxic uh, situation. Whatever this is, this is you actually releasing yourself from it, getting out of it. So I'm about the devil in reverse for the outcome. So we got the two of cups in reverse. We have the eight of wands upright and the four of pentacles upright. Um, for your outcome, you're going to be putting an end to this connection. You're going to be putting an end to this relationship that you're in. This new, um, again, this is newness with the two of cups and upright. This is coming to a see, hey, do we like each other? Are we going to do the damn thing or not? You're like, nah. There's going to be some communication. And this person's going to reach out. This person's going to uh, uh, reach out when they come in. With these sharp words of sharp communication, it's going to be via text or DM, but they're going to blow you up and it's going to be a lot. I feel like they're going to flood all your stuff and they are not letting you go. You're going to be freeing yourself from this, Capricorn. And this is also your energy. This is you literally freeing yourself from this uh, devil energy. You could be dealing with another Capricorn, but whatever this is, they're not letting you go. You're letting go of this relationship. They're going to come in on some, on some BS expressing to you that they're not letting go. That's where all this comes into play. What's coming in for you in the near future. And the reasons all happening, you're cutting this person off. Because they are in that uh, that bullshit. So let's see who you are dealing with. Please show me all 12 signs of the Zodiac in regards to this reading, please. All 12 signs of the Zodiac in regards to this reading. And I'm using the Unsent Messages Oracle Deck. And the Witch's Tarot for the, uh, the second deck, Clarifying Deck. Alright, if you're dealing with an Aries... Aries is ready to take action. They've made a decision. They're about to take action. My love comes with no terms or conditions. Just boundaries. If you're dealing with a Leo. Your Leo is, they're keeping tabs on you. I feel like they're watching you. Somebody's dealing with somebody with some anger issues. You got somebody who's angry, uh, who's keeping an eye on you. It's like somebody's like dealing with somebody who's violent or likes to use violence to get their point across or they communicate with violence, but they're watching you. That's not for everybody. I just see somebody stand there with like with a bat, like uh -huh. It's not possible to experience my type of love in another human. You'll spend a lifetime searching for something that doesn't exist. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Sagittarius is letting go. I still love you. I just have boundaries now. If you're dealing with a cancer, cancer doesn't want this to end. They're doing all they can to prevent this ending. They don't want they don't want this to uh, come to an end. I wish I could tell you the way I really feel. If you're dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio's holding on to past hurts, past pain. They're uh, they're sitting in that. They're not willing to let it go. They're just they're they're holding on to it. It should have been over by now. They should have uh, uh, been able to heal by now. But they're they're just holding on to it. Unsent message says, "I'm just not sure where we stand anymore." If you're dealing with a Pisces, uh. Things have come to a stop. No one's taking action. No one's moving any forward. Things aren't moving any forward. I feel like uh, for some of you, for I feel like I was gonna say a small part, but I feel like even maybe even half of you, or it's a little bit of, a little bit less than half. I don't know why that's important, but um, distance is the problem. It's like you're not gonna. You're tired of going to see this person, or they're not coming to see you. Is just is just not. It's 
it's just not working. This distance is a problem. It's not working. It's like, okay, let's just pull back from this. It's like not balanced or something. I want the same things you want. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo is, uh, they're being patient and is kind of going with your flow. They could be tiptoeing around the, uh, the idea of not going with your flow, but they're going with it. There's places I can't go to anymore because of all the good memories I have there with you. So this is somebody that you've already dealt with. Well, clearly. If you're dealing with a Taurus, it looks like you're going to be coming to a, uh, a new beginning, a new start, a new relationship with a Taurus. And it looks like it's going to be uh, full of emotion and looking good. And the unsent message says that we will be together again soon. I just need a little bit more time. Um, if you're dealing with a fellow Capricorn, Capricorn, uh, same, okay, so this is the same ending as, or this is the same as the outcome for the story. Um, you're going to be freeing yourself. So I feel like you could be dealing with another Capricorn, or there just could be you, but whatever it is, it's the same exact outcome as the reading. You're going to be freeing yourself from this toxic uh, connection. Sometimes I look at my phone hoping to find a missed text from you, but nope, nothing. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius isn't going to be, uh, you could have been waiting for this Aquarius to bring you some type of good news about stability or, or make you some type of uh, offer to stable things out. It looks like there's a delay where it's just not happening. I've overcome obstacles, let you, uh, I'm sorry. I've overcome obstacles, let my walls down, and let you waltz right in. I never thought in a million years it would be your flame that would burn me. Could be dealing with a twin flame. Uh, if you're dealing with a Gemini. Gemini feels like there's nothing uh, growing. They feel like they've fallen from grace. You no longer put them on a pedestal. You no longer see them as uh, uh, worthy of being your partner. This has become an exhausting. And if you're dealing with the Libra, things are unfair and um, things need to get balanced out. And this is also Libra energy with justice in reverse. Things are going to uh, things are unfair. Something could be actually going in their favor as opposed to going in your favor. I understand our connection. I'm just not ready to accept it. So, Caps, that's what I have for you. Again, that's the Unsent Messages Oracle deck that I created. If you're interested, that can be found at onwarstarot.com, as well as private readings. If you're interested in a private reading that's not so general and mixed with uh, other people's energies, we can just focus specifically on you. You can book that reading also at onwarstarot.com. And if you need to release yourself from someone that you're stuck on, I got something for you at the magic shop at onwarstarot.com as well. If not, totally cool. I'll see you guys down in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.